what up? I'm the math teacher goat. We're going to talk about rounding numbers today in fourth grade land. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please. I beg you. And maybe like this video and get all your family members to like this video and subscribe as well. Please, I beg you. We're talking about rounding numbers today. We're going to do a bunch of problems. I'm going to have you freeze the screen, try them on your own. So it may not be a bad idea to pause now, go get some scrap paper and a pencil and be ready to do some stuff with me. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Rounding numbers. Repeat after me. Five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, let it go. Now, this is talking about rounding numbers. Sometimes, you know, if you're talking about real life stuff, right? If you're counting like a bunch of Legos and stuff like that, and someone's like, hey, man, how many Legos do you have? And you're like, oh, I don't know, around 700? You're estimating. You're probably rounding. You probably don't have 700 Legos. You probably have like 690 something or something like that. And you're just, you're just using a nice number, a nice round number, like zero. Well, Rounding numbers is when we take numbers and change it to zero based off of where we are. Now, five or above, give it a shove. Four or below, let it go. That's going to help us round these numbers. So let me move my face out of the way a little bit so we can look at how to do these problems. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to tell you to round to the nearest something. Now we learned place value. We know what 10 is. 10 is the second digit. That's the ones, that's the 10. So if I want to round to the nearest 10, what I do is I look to the number to the right of it, okay? If it's five or above, you shove five up to six and make you a zero. That's what we do here. Five, now, 8 is 5 or above. 8 is above 5. So 5 or above, give it a shove, means we're going to turn that 8 into 0. 6 gets shoved up to 6. I'm sorry, 5 gets shoved up to 6, and then that 6 stays that way. So when you round, when you round, you look at where you're supposed to round, move to the number to the right of it, and if it's 5 or above, make it a zero, and make that number one higher. If it's four or below, let it go. Of course, this was said by Abraham Lincoln, the great president, the greatest president, some might say. Some might say. Round to the nearest 10. We're going to do this three more times, okay? We're going to do it three more times. Uh... Round to the nearest 10 means here's my 1s, here's my 10, okay? 5 or above, give it a shove. 4 or below, let it go. So I'm going to look at 6. 6 is 5 or above. So we're going to turn 6 into 0. Since 6 is 5 or above, that 6 that I'm rounding to becomes 7, and you become 4. So 466 rounds to 470. Round to the nearest 10 again. Here's a 10. We're going to look to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. No. Four or below, let it go. Yes. Turn the one into zero. Leave six alone now. And then five and two just kind of come along for the ride. So this rounds down to 5,260. Okay. Round to the nearest 10. Okay, now this is where the game changes slightly. It's going to be a little weird. Watch me here. Okay, 5 or above, give it a shove. Yep, 8 is 5 or above. So let's turn 8 into 0, and let's move up 9. Now hold on. If we're going to move up 9, 9 moves up to 10. So you actually become a 0, and you carry that 1 to make it 800. So this one was a little different. Okay, sometimes you have to go up to the next digit. But what I did is I said five or above, give it a shove, which means you move it up, which means you move nine up two. Okay? Let's take a look at rounding to the nearest hundred. Same idea, same idea. Okay, we are going to underline the hundreds. That's ones, that's tens, and that's a hundred. Look to the right of it. 
Five or above, give it a shove. This is five or above, so we're going to move this up. Okay, so all of these numbers, both of these numbers right here become zeros. Both of them. And five, since this is five or above, becomes six. And then that four comes along for the ride. Okay? I think an angel's getting his wings. When a when a I watch or an Apple Watch makes a sound, I think it's an angel getting his wings. Anyway, round to the nearest hundred. Here's my hundred. Ones, tens, hundred. Five or above? Nope. So we're going to make these ones zeros, zero, zero. Leave that two as a two because this is not five or above. Give it a shove. This is four or below. Let it go. So you become two, you stay two, and five comes along for the ride. Okay? Round to the nearest hundred. Ones, tens, hundred. Look to the right of it. Okay, nine is five or above. So you move up. The nine and the eight become zeros, and the seven moves up to eight. Okay. So everything to the right becomes zeros. And if that number is five or above, that number gets one number higher. If that number is uh, four or below, it stays that way. So let's take a look at thousands, and then you guys are going to practice some. I think we're going to do ten thousands, and then you guys are going to practice some on your own. Round to the nearest thousand, all right? So here's my ones, here's my tens, here's my hundreds, here's my thousands, okay? Look to the number to the right. Five or above, give it a shove. Nope. Four or below, let it go. Yes. So what we're going to do is these three numbers become zeros. One, two, three. There's my comma. Four or below, let it go. So we're going to leave three go. And then four comes along for the ride. Okay, that's the nearest thousand. Let's take a look at it again. Here's my one. That's my thousand. Look to the right of it. Four or below, well, it is four. So we're going to let that one go. So we're going to turn all three of these into zeros. One, two, three. Since four is four or below, we're going to let it go. Leave one as one and leave one as one because that's what we get, we're given. Let's round to the nearest thousand one more time. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Move to the right. Five or above, give it a shove. Yep. So let's turn these three numbers into zero, one, two, three. Since five is five or above, we're going to give seven a shove and turn that seven into eight. That eight comes along for the ride. That seven comes along for the ride. And there you have it. Hmm? Hmm. 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 Round to the 10,000. Ooh, these numbers are just so big. So same exact rules, same exact things. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay? So underline four, go to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. No. Four or below, let it go. Yes. So we're going to turn one, two, three, four digits into zeros is since three is four or below, we're going to let four go. So that becomes 40,000. Okay, let's do it again. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Go to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. No. Four or below, let it go. Yes. So since that's one, two, three, four, let's do one, two, three, four zeros. Since one is four or below, we're going to let that digit go, and then one is just kind of hanging out. 140,000. Okay? One more of these. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. Okay? Go to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. Yup. So let's put our one two, three, four zeros. 
Since 9 is 7 is 5 or above, we're going to shove 9 up to 0 again. Now, 9 moves up to 10, which means you're going to put a 0 there and add 1 to that 0. So you become 1, and then that 1 is just hanging out. So 1,100,000. Okay, so kind of tricky again. We saw a problem like this before. Kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. Wow. As if we couldn't do more, we're going to do one more round of these before you do a, uh, your own practice. Round to the 100,000, all right? So 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So there's a 9, okay? 5 or above, give it a shove. Nope. 4 or below, let it go. Yep. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, comma, three, four, five zeros. Okay? Since this is four or below, we're going to let nine go. And then that one comes along for the ride. Okay? Almost there. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So let's underline four. Let's look to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. Yep. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, comma, three, four, five zeros. Since six is five or above, we're going to give four a shove and make it a five. Four bumps up to five. And this is 500,000. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So let's underline the zero. Let's bump over to eight. Five or above, give it a shove. Yep. So let's make one, two, three, four, five zeros with your comma, right? Since eight is five or above, we're going to shove one up zero up to one. And then five here comes along for the ride. 5,100,000, which is how many subscribers I hope to have at the end of the year. Probably not. Not even close. But I hope. It's, it's a dream. So you try this, okay? We're going to do three of them. And for each of them, I'm going to ask you to round to something different. So you're going to start off by rounding to the 100, then the 10,000, then the 10. You try these on your own, okay? So pause the screen. And when you're ready, come back and check your work. Welcome back. Round to the nearest hundred. Ones, tens, hundreds. So let's underline the zero. Go to the right of it. Five or above? Yup. So we're going to give that a shove. So we're going to turn eight and nine into zero and zero. One gets shoved up, or zero gets shoved up to one. And all the numbers here stay the exact same. Okay, let's do it again. Round to the nearest 10,000. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. So let's underline eight. Go to the right of it. Five or above, give it a shove. Yes. So we're going to put one, two, three, four zeros underneath. Since this is five or above, eight turns into nine. And then that nine comes along for the ride. Okay, last one. Round to the nearest 10. Five or above, give it a shove. No, four or below, let it go. Yes. So 4 becomes 0. Since 4 is 4 or below, we're going to let 7 go and leave 7 as 7. And then 5 comes along for the ride. Okay? So that's it. That's fourth grade math rounding numbers. Okay? So you're going to be given a specific area. You're going to see if the number to the right of it is 5 or above. And if it is, you put zeros over here and make that number higher. Or if it's four or below, you make those zeros and then you leave that number the way it is and fill in all the numbers before it the way they were.
Rounding numbers, tons of fun. Tons of fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I beg you, please, please, please. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.